Charming spot. Inspiring projects. Let's go. We can't. Why not? We're waiting for it to go. Oh. You sure this was the place? What? Where he said he'd meet us. He said by the table. Do you see any others? What is it? I don't know. Oak? You know, there are two types of oak, red oak and white oak. The white has more tannin. Uh, where are the leaves? I'm leaving. You can't. Why not? We're waiting for it to go. Oh. Well, how will we know what to do? Improvise, man. Paint. Staple. It's all the same thing. The important thing is to be nice to your furniture. Well, would you put it that way? He told us he'd be here. Well, he's never lied to us before. Then again, if he's been sniffing the fumes of the bug that makes shellac, who's to say? Mm, meaning what? Meaning? Meaning has no reason. Hardly enough reflex action to paint on a spit coat, let alone to remember uh, an appointment with us. Mm. First the psychos, then the hearing. Memory. Where have I left my watch? Pity, please. <sighs> Pitiful. Well, I'm off. You can't. Why not? It's time for to go. Oh. oh. This is a seven card game, four down, three up, get what you give, common card dealt at the end of the game at our last game. Do I look like Stephen Hawking, punk? Cool, cool, Clyde. Keep it simple. Easy. Hey, this is furniture to go. I'm Frank. This here is Jilly. I'm Jilly. We got a card table show for you here. We got some chairs and a table, got some green vinyl on here. We're gonna get rid of the green vinyl, put on a nice red leather, and we're gonna redo the wood on this, make it a nice black finish. Well, the, the table talked back to Frank, so I had to break its legs. We gotta fix that, too. So uh, join us for today's show. Hey, cuckoo baby, make like a nice broad. Refill this for me, will you? Nice, nice broad. She's got spunk. Yeah, good kid. Got a little bead here, little rubber or plastic, probably rubber bead. I knew this guy had some beady eyes. That runs all around the perimeter of the vinyl insert. And that holds the vinyl insert. Boy, it's coming out. Hey, look, on the bottom, there's a tag. It's got hey, a lot of do the... not remove under penalty of law. What do you think? The furniture police are going to break your door down at midnight? We have your house surrounded. You take it, Detective Furman, jump the fence, and get all the tags. Look, I remember. Hey, by the way, I figured out a defense for that Furman what guy. What was that? He's got Tourette's. Oh, yeah, <laughs> I saw that one coming. <laughs> okay. Look, we took this tag with these screws off the bottom here, and this is what you got. You got the miter board, see? And over here, I've taken that top bead off, and I can pull this out, except there's one other thing holding this in. And it is a... Golden's mustard. No, it is a spline. Ooh, a spline. Check this out, a spline. Spline. A spline of cane, Frank. And that's been banged in to hold the vinyl in place. We're going to have to take it out to take the vinyl off. Look, can it's peeling right out. Can I show something here? Sure. Look, these are really neat chairs, and they got a mechanism inside, if you can see. They're folding chairs. They're hinged here on the underside of the leg, on the inside of the leg. And inside, you got this grip mechanism here. See this here? Look at that. I used to work as a grip mechanism for Frank. And they fold away. Anybody you didn't like, I would grip. Kind of like one of those ab exercises. You could put it right under the bed. <laughs> See? Only this has another, and another of course, use. You can actually sit on it. You could take these out. This has got vinyl around here. Speaking of Frank, by the way, I bought his the album. The duets. Not only that, I got the outtakes. Ooh. The part you didn't hear. Him and K.D. Lang. Yeah, he said, K.D., you do that thing? You do that wild thing? I don't do that. I never did that. That's too wild for me, cuckoo baby. How about the, he sang with Sting? Roxanne, do that again, and I'm going to make you as red as that red light. <laughs> Turn off the red light or I'll kill you. Look, I can pull this actually out, and the spline is coming with it. Oh, how easy. It's about time we had an easy now, job. Now, what we got under here, you see, is normally... Look, oh, it's a Betty Crocker sheet cake. Look. No, ah, it's ah, foam, ah. Frank. Oh, hey, look. Oh, my goodness, an easy job. There we go, look. Who ever heard of such a thing on this show? Oh, it is a piece of masonite. This is cheap. My father was in the masonites. Remember masonite, Reese? 
Uh, we're taping off the cane because the cane's in good condition. And we vowed never to do cane again. Never, never. I'm never caning another chair. And I'm sanding the perimeter of this See with that? some kind of sandpaper. 220. 220. And now I'm going to clean off with? Attack rag. That's see right. how that, see how I made that turn there? It's just bending the tape a little bit. As long as the tape's out this far and you got your finger down on that point there, you can bend tape. You can. Speaking of the tapes, I got the bootleg tapes from Frank's duets album. Really? Which one? Yeah, well, the one with Prince, where he does a duet oh, with Prince. Prince. What is it with you with this name, Prince? More like a queen, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Was your mother formerly known as your mother? Doesn't your mother have the same name? What is her name? Mrs. Formerly this, Known? This kid, he's shorter than I am and he don't even talk. Look at this. Then you want to tape the inside. I'm using a piece of uh, a Cal photo. Yeah, that I, I use that on my calluses. This, this is the callus. This is the, see, that's how you tape it off. You get the, the Charlie Callus insert. Now what do we do? Well, I guess I'll turn this over well, this and I'll start to get do clean. the legs. You tack rag. Oh, then we're going to sand it down. Or are we going to uh, Apply a shellac on there. That's <laughs> just the first time hearing of it. Shellac. This was a meeting I didn't even have to miss. We didn't have the meeting. And you know what we're going to put on? What kind of shellac? What's it called? Hey, man. Spit coat. That's right. Oh, those, those big stars. They love to say stupid words. Thank you very much. It's important when working with expensive leather, even though I don't pay for it, to nest your pieces that you need to cover so as to not waste. Now, of course, there's always going to be some waste on leather because, look, this is where the cow must have picked his nose. It might have been his nostril right here because there's a little hole. So, of course, we can't cut the leather out of here, but we do have to nest our pieces so that we get the maximum amount of cow skin and the minimum amount of waste. See, this is all gonna be waste. <laughs> You'll see me in a red leather vest real soon. So I'll just begin to cut my leather right in between my masonite so there's enough to wrap around the seats. And then I'll cut for the insert of the table. Meanwhile, what the heck are you doing, Joe? I'm doing the table. You're uh, shellacking? Yeah, well, I just invented it. It's a new, ta new technique, see? Because you can do all kinds of things while you're while you're shellacking the table. Available Just, from Furniture Guys Heavy Industries, ninety nine ninety five. You could lay something there. You could have a drink over here. The actual furniture to go apparatus. You can go with your furniture. QVC. I'll just keep cutting this. Well, of course, after I cut my leather, the next thing I got to do is cut my foam. And of course, my foam's in good condition for three of the four chairs. However, one of the chairs has a hole in the top. Oh, and no. look, it's got a scar like Lon Chaney. Oh, man of a thousand faces. I won't do any of them now. How I'm gonna cut my foam? Somebody forgot their electric carving knife, so I'll have to cut it with my dovetail saw. And it does make a beveled cut. I can bevel my foam cut with this. Looks beautiful. Mm -hmm. Now these chairs, uh, we sanded them down with a 220 grit paper and we tack ragged them and just as a new, a new base, a new foundation, I'm taking the shellac, which is, what are we using? Five to one. <laughs> Spit coat! Right. Oh, it's dirty like a on, cockroach. And we'll over let there. this dry. This is a very thin spit coat. It doesn't matter if it drips or not. It's going to soak right into that old wood. And then what we'll do is we'll sand it down again with a fine paper. And then we'll put on the color of our choice. And even though it's not the, as attractive a cut as you get with an electric carving knife, you can, with any sort of serrated knife, get a beveled cut azoi. That's a I'll nice, lay that uh, over there. I do want a bit of a beveled cut. Bevel from the top down. You can use a bread knife for this. You can't even use scissors. But you have to go really slowly if you want Why you? a beveled cut with scissors. These hinges are really bad. 
You know, Frank did a, a thing with Pavarotti, too. He did? He said, lay off the bonbons, Italian boy. Yeah. I How big is this guy? I understand you had a, a canceller gig just to share, due to sheer size. <laughs> Get that edge. And now, a man with a brush up his nose. <laughs> well, Jerry Lewis puts a glass in his mouth. <laughs> the whole yeah, glass. We all know how, how hip he is. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> but he's good in damn Yankees. He's good, but he's... Because he's playing himself. <laughs> playing the devil, isn't he? <laughs> and I'm painting all the various elements of this chair. And by the way, you know what's on the top of this? What kind of bristles are on the bottom of this brush? Hair. No, no, what kind, what kind of bristle this brush is that? Chinese bristles. And on the top now is nose hair. Nose hair. Nose hair. Nose hair. Nose hair. Nose hair. You know, we got the shellac, we sanded the shellac down. Now we're applying this first coat of paint. Now what this is, it's a Japan paint, and it's a uh, Van Dyke Brown, our favorite, and the raw umber mixed Wouldn't together. That be Van Dyke Brown? Brown. Because it's a if, Japan, well, Chinese brush. Japan. Anyway, and you see this color? It's almost like a, like a semi-sweet dark chocolate color. Okay, so we're gonna paint this all on here. And then we would let this Actually, dry. it looks like what it is when after you eat semi-sweet dark chocolate. Yeah, or you drink a lot of Merlot. <laughs> <laughs> now, once this is uh, dry, you'll see. We'll be canceled. <laughs> hey, that's very good. We got an actual real live laugh. It's almost like a sitcom now, huh? Anybody who wants to see this be a full sitcom can write in and say, if Bob Saget can have three running at once, you guys should be president of Europe. Or at least Romania. Now look at this. See this chair? See the flatness over here? That chair? This chair. That's See? what I'm painting now. It's yeah. going to look like this right after I finish and somebody else comes and fixes it. It dries nice and flat. And here's what we got. This is our spit coat. And then Hold we on. What did you say again? That's right. There okay. That'll make it shiny again. See or this? shinny, depending on how many this ends is gonna, you This use. will seal that color in. It's a Japan color, and it's been thinned down with some naphtha, which will allow it to dry very fast. Now, once this is dried, we'll sand it lightly with some 400 paper, and then we'll put a second coat on Or somebody paint. will, anyway. Second coat onto <laughs> the paint, and then another coat of shellac. And then after that, we're going to burn everything. Because <laughs> I'm losing my mind. Lyn Lynette Jennings, is she a real person? Or is that just a Disney thing? <laughs> Who's Lynette Jennings? That's what I say. That was a great segment. Didn't you like when Ed Ames visited us? Yeah! I'm going to do a chair seat yet again, this time in leather. And guess what? I'm not going to tell you how to do it this time, because you should all follow along with me. Remember, I'm miming now. Staple right in the middle. Right there. Okay. And now put one in the back. Now we're anchored and we can work the corners. My uncle used to work the corners. He was a numbers man. <laughs> Joe usually says that part. Anyway, we're going to staple out to the side and we're going to do a kind of a different kind of a, um, what would you call it? A pull tight. We're going to pull this center first like this, right? We're going to take this corner and pull it like that and put a staple there. Then we're going to fold these two corners in like so. Pull that corner in and pull that corner in. So you get a nice even curve on the bias and I'll do it again for those of you who have not yet, yet turned to sea hunt or something that interesting. I'm going to pull the center, this corner like that. Of course, I'll pull this in, and then I fold my corners in like that. Isn't that lovely? Isn't it beautiful? Isn't it boring? Pull all the excess to the rear. That's where it ends up. Flip it around like so. Hmm. He looks in a quizzical way and asks the obvious question. Joe, what are you doing? It's a sheet cake. I'm the Duncan Hines. I got some icing. Mm-hmm. You know what? Could I just have a little bit of that over here? Oh, sure. Mm -hmm. 
Mm. Now are you gonna do me or should I? Mm. 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 Say, were you wearing a red tie? <laughs> Just leave that ear alone. Here's, Ow! Here's part of your oh. ear, sorry. Oh. This is the physical go away, segment go away. of the... That dog's been around here ever since I shaved the last person. Now, now you do this. No, 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 this is a cake. I'm gonna put two of them on here. All right, now I pull this corner again like this. This is the rear, right? Isn't that nice? It looks like the Millennium Falcon here or something like that. And I just fold that over like that. And that's Barbasol, by the way, and we're ready for an endorsement. <laughs> oh, I was gonna do it. Should I? Howie Mandel, you're a woman. Look oh, at this. Oh, that's a real good one. <laughs> hey, <laughs> it's ready nice to... Nice and lightheaded now. First he shoots lacquer, then he blows up a balloon, and no. he's ready. We're going to uh, clear coat with the lacquer. But and... first, with a fine sandpaper, very Larry fine sandpaper. It's a Larry fine paper. Uh, now, we, we not, a, a, not Howard sandpaper. No, that would be too rough. It would say, why you? What a fine sandpaper. So we put a second coat of shellac over top of the second coat of paint. So Ed's drying that, uh, sanding that. How many times that. must we tell you that every time you put on a new liquid coating, you got to sand first? Well, see, the thing is, and we're going to spray this on with the spray lacquer. Here's a piece of wood that I uh, put the same paint on. Now, if you brush... Is this a visual aid? Yeah, if you brush with a brushing lacquer, see what's going to happen is um, it's going to pull it off. See the bristles are becoming black. See oh, that? Oh, goodness. That's we why don't it, want that. And it'll just smear all around. I've seen so many people that put a stain on their floor, you know, an oil stain. Then they'll brush on an oil varnish, and it'll be all smeary. They're, so, they're silly, foolish people. So I'm going to spray this table. It's sanding that down. And I'll put this on here. And of course, I'll wear nothing because <laughs> I saw a lot of concerts. Oh, I didn't do this one. LeVar Burton. Very nice. Okay. And now we spray first. Get your hose out of the way, Pop. Here we go. He's always stepping on his hose. Look at the inside of the leg. And then I want to do... Lacquer is going to give you the best possible protection. Pizza, pizza. Look, they're nice, clean, fresh. They look like, I don't know what you would call them. Sicilian. The, looks like a big chiclet, doesn't it? <laughs> Red chiclet. And you put these in. We're just going to lay them in here because I don't have time to screw them in. But when you do, you just turn it over. You could screw it in from underneath or you could lay on the floor. Screw it from the bottom up, huh? It doesn't matter, but it looks so nice, and you use the right screw. You don't want to use a big screw like this. See that? That's ridiculous, because if that comes up, it's going to be like oh. the in Indian fake here. Joe, I you need your help okay. over here, please. Here's the leather. Underneath the leather. the leather, over top of the masonite, we tacked in this felt. Well, it's we tacked in the masonite, then we actually glued the felt. It feels that way, yeah. And now we've got the leather, and we've got to go. stretch and adhere the le cool. leather in a very tight way. This is just like the caning, when you do caning and you bang the caning, mm -hmm. with, bang the reed into the channel of the cane piece. Right, the cane is tied and then there's a piece of, uh, of reed banged in over top. Exactly. But we don't have that. No, we we just have the reed, we're not tying it. So what we do is we lay this over top of the channel. This is a piece of spline. 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 And we've actually made a tool here. Oh, we have? Yes. Just like the primitive days of our of our long When we were with PBS, normal. when we had less money than we do now, uh, this is nothing more or less than a paint stirrer, and we're going to start from the middle. You're going to push that in there just like that? I think so. With that hammer? I you think sure? so. I hope you so. Sure? I can tell this is going to take a really long time. Yes, yes. It's down in there. It's down Whoa. in there. I think it just looks, like look, the, it's an antenna. There we go. We're done. Now we're just going to work out. And of course, of course, you're going to get some puckering. But when you stretch it from the side, oh, yeah. that's going to take out the puckers. And we just go along. You people can start baking bread at any point now. Pretending to actually be finishing the uh, spline part. Now I've already started, or somebody has, cutting the excess over here. And what I do after I trim out 
the ends from the end of the channel to the end of the table, I get da, 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 been eating butter again. Imperial uh, we, margarine. We have the mat knife, and what we do is we s cut along the outside of the channel. That's pretty good. Huh? Homemade crown. That's crayon, isn't it? Pronounced crayon. And that's all you need to do. And then get a nice sharp blade. Whoa, now it's all ruined. It's not ruined. Ruined. It's, it's all messed up. It's not ruined. Screwed up. I didn't. Horrible. Whoa. Looks like uh, surgery after my uncle had that, that little mole removed. Yeah. You have to be tough with it. Look at me. I did this to you. And then the last thing that we do is we get the little rubber channel bead. This is a licorice whip, isn't it? And we put that in there. And where's my rawhide hammer? Get them yeah! up. Move, get them up, move them out. Hey, you're moving it. I'm not. Just going to bang that into the top of the channel. Of course, I can use this for that, too. Uh, don't tamper too hard with that, because that's a burnt. See? Uh, very nice. Turn the other side around. Well, the other side is too wide. Well, I know, but you don't want to damage the, uh, the stuff. We're arguing again. Here's our beautiful red leather top and ebonized black table. Much Here's. more dramatic than what it looked like before. I think so, my friend. And Susan Sizemore has written a book, and in the front of the book, uh, it says any... It's a work of fiction. Characters, incidents are products of the author's imagination. And at the bottom of page 69, it says, Joe Lario was strong, a strong-featured, muscular man with a bald spot and artist hands. Ed Feldshu was shorter and rounder than Joe, puckish and playful. Susan, you should have sent us a copy of the book, I think. I think so. It would have been only nice to do that. Look at the before in this project. And here, look, the after. Better, better, better. By the way, Joe, you know what I saw last night? What was that? I saw a new production of Anton's Chekhov's The Seagull. Was oh, that the one with Red Skelton in yes, it, right? Yes, the one, The Seagull. Look, look at that crazy Russian down there. Yeah, I wish he'd shoot himself and then we can get out of here. <laughs> I'm Joe Lorario. I'm Ed Feldman. Be nice to your furniture.